I don't know if this is a good idea, guys. I don't know if I'm ready for this. You are ready, and here's why. Trinidad bailed on us last week. We need a new co-host, and it's you, baby. Yeah, you just need to get some jokes in a pair of sneakers, and you'll be all right. Yeah, but now I have to start putting text over my own head. Uh, come on, put, you, put the glasses on. You're ready. Come on, baby. You ready? Yeah, look, you got it. Got what? Move. Don't Please. talk. Don't talk. Wait, what I, are you doing? I didn't, I didn't know you, you know, were... No, no, you don't know anything. Get this little fit of mod out my goddamn spot. What are you doing? Who's this kid? What, what are you doing, bro? That was a new co-host. Oh, for real? No, serious. Why don't you get your ass up out of here? What, what about that? What do you mean? It's Trinidad LaPuma in this bitch. You trying to replace me? Me? That's a full size. That's a full size. She, she, she won every color. That's a full size. Hello to every single member of the FS Army watching across the world. Of course, I am your co-host, Brendan Dunn. I'm Matt Welty. Trinidad James. And we Woo. have a couple special guests for us for our season finale here. Gentlemen, if you want to introduce yourselves. Mayhem Loren. Okay. Baklava. Okay. Two, two, two gentlemen with a long history in the footwear game. We're going to talk about all of that as well as some current events, uh, things of that nature. Why aren't you wearing an outfit? <laughs> Did you want a snack? First thing we want to do is discuss what everyone's wearing today. Welty, what sneakers do you have on? Uh, I got the Overkill XZX uh, 10,000. You're kind of overkilling yeah. that shoe. You've done it a couple times now in the air, but we're going to give you a pass. Yeah, haven't done, <laughs> haven't done this colorway yet, though. Oh, this was the rarest one of the bunch. Right. Bronson? I'm rocking the uh, Airspan 2 by Pata. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice colorway, nice and comfortable. I could go hiking, I could go to the club. Mm. <laughs> I have on the Nike Moon Racers here. Shout out to my boy Joe LaPuma for putting me on these. JLP gang. All right. Good pair of classic sixes, man. Sixes are my favorite Jordan. Black and infrared. That's how I felt like pulling up today. Okay, I got the Air Max Plus on. Thank you to the good people at Champs for sorting me out with these, uh, the purple ones. Is this sponsored? Uh, no, they didn't pay for that. This but, dude you know, here. You know. I used to buy warm-up suits at Champs. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. I bought my first pair of authentic Syracuse shorts there. Mmm, nowadays you walk in, you get them for free? No. What? I don't wear the Syracuse shorts. I'm a St. John's guy. Hey. Okay. okay. You know? Shout out Chris Mullen. Come you on the show. Know. Chris Mullen, come on the show. Shamari. That's what's up. Bronson, you and Trinidad have kind of a long history, right? You guys were on the freshman cover? Yeah, yeah man. man. For a long time. Do you want me to tell you something about that shoot? I want you to tell me everything about that shoot. <laughs> This motherfucker had 55,000 pairs of shoes laid out in his area. <laughs> Every type of loafer you could imagine. I mm -hmm. could, I, I was just astonished. Mm -hmm. I'd never seen that many loafers at one time. <laughs> you know, no, that was an interesting loafer time. Loafer game man. was crazy. You blew the advance time. on loafers? Uh, I've blown an advance on a lot of things. <laughs> loafers was just a partial part of it. <laughs> all right, Jesus. When you think of that, like to not get too deep into it, but first of all, shout out to Vanessa. At Double XL, that's the, yeah, for sure. that's the queen. I mean, that was a very interesting group of people. Everybody had their own style. You know, it was like kind of like pocket clicks, but you know, people was like letting people rock. You know what I'm saying? From Schoolboy Q to Travis Scott. Like, that's the first time people was like, yo, what is Travis Scott? You know what I'm saying? Logic was like Logic Twin 13s, like. Come on, bro. That was, was wild. Time. Everyone on that cover is pretty successful, I'd say. It was a yeah. good cover. Amen. Gentlemen, let's talk some sneaker news. The first Woo. item here is the OBJ Nike Air Max 720. There's no official info about these yet, but he posted them on his Instagram. Do you guys, uh, do you guys care about OBJ in general? Yeah, I love. I mean, he's a good dude, and I fuck yeah. with the 720s heavy. Okay, okay I was wondering, do you yeah. like 720s? I like, I like the, the 720s. What? They're a little squishy, but uh, you know, you you get you get used to it. These I just saw like these hair on past and joints that okay. were fire. Okay. You like right. those? I like those. Oh, like Look at him, he's oh, sad. Yeah, they I match, like they match the beard. Wait, 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 wait. Exactly. I like the I like the call hard aesthetic. The, 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 the okay. neon oranges, the you know, okay. the safety yeah, orange. Offset, it. offset coming to the show. Um in my opinion, you know, obviously the 720 an incredible shoe, in my totally unbiased opinion, but I, I don't I don't really understand this. I don't think we need this model. You know, this so is you don't like, like the model, you don't like the 720. It's wild. The 720, I love the 720. My totally unbiased opinion. Can I tell you how to wear those? Please. Solid green short. Okay. Shirtless. Miami. <laughs> yes. Yes. That's, I'm ready. That's when you wear them. I'm ready. ready. You let me sleep on the couch when I come to the Polo pieces to match this? No. Flesh. No shirt. Only flesh. I got flesh to match. Of course. <laughs> Brown's flesh, that's all you need. <laughs> Moving forward, gentlemen. Um, the Travis Scott Jordan Air One. 
How do you feel about the Jordan one? Is it one of your favorite models? Less favorite? Me specifically, favorite? you know, like I'm hard to, I'm, I'm a hard person to talk to about Jordans. I just don't Should we fuck skip with this whole that. thing then? Yeah. I don't fuck with Jordans, period. I don't fuck with Mike. I don't fuck with. You sit okay. next to the right guy for At that. All. Yeah. I'm a <laughs> Knicks fan. It, it's not even about that. It's just about, you know, I'm not fucking with it like that. Right, right, right. I had them. I had a lot of original joints when they all came out. When did you stop? Like, what, I'm, I'm not fucking with Jordans. Like, I'm done with this shit. Oh man, I, the last pair of Jordans I bought was at a Dr. J's in Main Street, Flushing. Wow. So that's probably 20 years ago. Damn. Wow. Michael Jordan coming to show mayhem. Or what yes, about you? Tell me. I Jordan like Jordans. I'm not, a bi- I'm, not, I'm not a big one head. I like four, five, six. Okay. You know. Okay. Is that comfortable for you? Or? Jordans. You know. Mm. Yeah, it doesn't look comfortable. I have a wide foot. What am I going to do with that? But how do we feel about the reverse swoosh on it? Is that whack or? Whatever. It's cute. When they when when say it's cute, I got to just move on. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I just got to move on because that's yeah. it. It's done. <laughs> so now Nike SB, um, they're doing a Jordan 1 again, like the Lance Mountain from before. And um, it starts off as a Lakers colorway, as you see right now. And then as you wear it more, you're supposed to skate in, of course. But it peels away to Chicago. Bulls colorway. So this is like a fair weather, fu- uh, fair weather fan shoe, mm. right? This is one of those where you scratch it off and Bad, it comes. Yes. Well, this is where the dude pulls the jersey off and you he has like another team on underneath it. He's like, in case we uh, lose tonight. That's a disloyal yeah. foot. <laughs> you got to pick a side. Or chop your foot off. Yeah. I'm He's good on that. Choose. Brendan, how about you, sir? Uh, I see your, your face cringing uh, over there. No, I, I wouldn't say I'm cringing. I Ten mean, one? The, the first Lance Mountain joints, I mean, the only Lance Mountain joints, the Lance Mountain, the original, that was good. I don't mind that they, like, redid the idea. I wish they would have come up with something better and something more original than just revisiting the old good idea. But right. I think they're still okay, but I'm not super impressed. Not a, not a great effort. Speaking about more Jordan shit, which we all want to talk about. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We got some uh, Flyknit Air Jordan 4s coming out. All Volt. These come in four colors. They're like coming in like four different colors. Red. Is like this killing this. the Air Jordan 4? Deep side from Bronson. I Is this? Mean, I'm gonna ask you because you like you like fours. How do you feel about this? Is this another shirtless? I'm gonna tell you. Flesh? Definitely. That's, a, that, that, that's definitely a shirtless shoe. Mm. But I have mixed that's emotions. That's a pantless shoe. That's <laughs> yeah. <laughs> coming through. Okay. That's naked with these on. Is that the? I like Flyknits. Yo, the Flyknit Air Force Ones were one of my favorite new sneaker ever. Really? They were completely underrated. Not blasphemous on any level. All white. Flying at Air Force Ones. I should have bought more when I had the chance. Okay. I love those, but this is just a little crazy. Is there any color they can do in this that make you actually like, oh, this is the one? You got orange, you got blue, they got red. In I this. think when you go all flying that you gotta go black or white. Mm. Okay. You know? Action, what you think about this, though? <laughs> you know, I'm not, it's a Jordan, so it sucks. But, but you can strip my I'm Jordan not, from <laughs> I'm not completely mad at the flying it situation. It's just like it's beating a dead horse, yeah. you know what I mean? Right. Just come up with a new design or just stop. Yeah. I mean, at least to the beach, though. To the beach? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm looking for more of an aqua sock for the beach. No, you, know? you said you're an aquatic person. You go right to the beach. Yeah, I go, I go barefoot before I go with those. <laughs> How do you guys feel about this general idea of taking old sneakers and updating them with new tech? Is that, is does that gonna pass from you? Nah. In general, I don't like it. But again, flying in Air Force Ones, they that's, work for me. That's the one that you do like. You okay. know, it's the case to case basis. But I just think that there needs to be some some new minds producing some new sneakers. Why was there such a renaissance in the 90s where there was 700 different thousand pairs of shoes? Mm-hmm. But you and could... now you just got to keep fucking bringing back the same 10. Right. I don't get that. You got to start designing for us, man. Hey, listen, man, I do many things. I wear a hat, I put it on. Bronson, we're doing something very innovative with sneakers today, actually, because we do have a gift for you. Really? Yeah, something, something. Gifts for the game. For I think this is mostly, mostly for Bronson, because I don't know if uh, Mayhem partakes in this sort of activity. But this is a nondescript. It may look like a classic shoe, but this is a nondescript um, sneaker that we have turned into a water I mean, pipe of that's sorts. That's pretty amazing. If we can put a slide that. in there and everything else. Yeah. Fire. Yeah, yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna <laughs> assemble this just for you. What's that? <laughs> What's that? You put that. In, you can. Uh, put it out your bung over. Last but not least, hand hand assembled by the full size room crew. Fully functional as far as I'm. As That's far tremendous. As I'm, yeah, so if you want to wow. use that for for whatever, Thank whatever. Thank you very you much, can, guys. Um, we didn't do it in Jordans because we didn't want to get it <laughs> well, thrown no, at the camera. Is, How do we nah, feel about Black good. Air Force Ones though? This is the. Uh, I don't really want to say what I want to say, but. <laughs> oh, let's hear it. No, this is a. <laughs> <laughs> let's hear it. Let's hear it. Let's this hear is, a Black Air Force One story. This is the perfect shoe. This is a perfect shoe for a summer day. Mayhem, have you ever done any <laughs> criminal activities in a in a black pair of Air Force Ones? I don't think I ever did any criminal activity not wearing black. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. <laughs> as, this is as a criminal. Dog, fucking, have you <laughs> seen? No. Wearing all black Air Force. Big body <laughs> criminal. Nah, listen, I just this, think of one person in specific, and I just. He's, who is it? I know. He's he just can't the, talk about him. He's a legend. He's a great. Who man. is it? Well, 
bleep his name out. We nah, can't, even can't talk it. about it. But listen, if you ever see me with a pair of highs with a gum sole, don't even talk to me. I'm oh, on a mission. Something's man. about to go down if the gum sole's out. Yeah. Bronson, any any plans with this? What do you think? Did we do okay as far as craftsmanship and things like that? I think it's beautiful. Like the craftsmanship is top quality. <laughs> Have love... you got any new pieces lately? I know the last one you got was well, the one I know about is insane. I got a couple of them. That, that's I what I'm saying. Too many. You showing out now? I don't buy jewelry. I just buy bongs. <laughs> mm, Twenty thousand mm. bucks on the bong? It's not a bong. It's a water pipe. <laughs> beautiful gift. <laughs> Anytime. So I, you know, I gotta ask because honestly, I've never heard anybody say I don't fuck with Jordan. Can Unequivocally, you? like yeah, like, like the way, like I'm not with that type of passion, that type of energy, that type yeah. of timing that you on. I've never heard nobody say that about MJ's or MJ. Is it? I would like to know, like, what what is that about? You know, I grew up, born and raised New York City, Queens, to be exact. Woo. I'm a big New York City Nick fan. Mm. The Knickerbockers is my team. Just like he uh, ruined so. our 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 entire hoop dreams when I was young. Okay. And he's just not a nice guy when I met him. Okay. <laughs> what was that you? Like? Okay. We we didn't say like I tried to give him a handshake. We gave each other a handshake, but he did a walking one. He hit you with the chameleon. Oh. I don't know what oh, what, what is a chameleon. It's like a weird hand. I know he told. But everyone was a weird hand. <laughs> <laughs> what is he a chameleon? He gave me a fucking weird hand, and I didn't fuck with him. Don't jack off with the chameleon. And I told him. I told him something and then I had Oakley tell him something. Oh? Oh, that's his man. Oak, Oak was gonna choke him out for Oak you? Oak was gonna choke him out for me. He was like, what do you want? I'll just choke slam him. Jesus. But on the, on the flip side, you also grew up in New York City and you don't have this kind of stigma around Jordans. You're you're fine with that. Jordan yeah. 6 is a goat. Did you ever feel like conflicted wearing them? Nah, not at all. All right. It's what it is. When now, John Starks gave him that work, was that like the best moment of your life? Or? Well, yeah. I mean, that's on. amazing. There's, some, there's a lot yeah. of great moments. I like Derek Harper. Rest in peace, Anthony Mason. Of course. Queens. Gee. We used to get haircuts at the same spot. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Big Mace. I used, to get, I used to get designs in my hair because of Anthony Mason. The wow. Russian barber? Nah, he didn't have that. I've been to many <laughs> Russian barbers, but this one Shout was cut. He's on barber. right by Hillside. In addition to not really liking Jordan, I get the idea that like you, you kind of the quality of the sneakers he's putting out. Do you feel like that has, has slid quite a bit in, in recent years? Yeah, the design is just, they're fucking ugly. Mm. You know, they're ugly sneakers, they're mm -hmm. bulky, they're shitty looking. The new model. You know I what? See, I see. There's a lot, the, the Mayhem quality also, I here. just think that sneakers in general, nah. the quality has just gone to shit. Okay. After 14, they went downhill. Okay. Any Jordan after 14 really didn't do it for me. But how about how they're making the retros, like the, the classic stuff, are they doing the right thing? I mean, I'm gonna keep it real. At my weight, I can't tell. Yeah. There's a lot, there's a lot of pressure on a Jordan, okay. so, okay. you know, this could be made amazing. I do one spin move and they're He's supposed Zion. to crease. You, you know? Zion. He's Zion. Zion. Yeah, yeah. Mayhem Williamson. Oh, dang. <laughs> Ma'am, also, I know that you kind of were tapped by Nike when they brought the Air Max 97 back. They had a little interview with you. That's right, I forgot about How that. How important was the Air Max 97 to you and the Air Max line to you growing up? I mean, Air Max is everything. Like, I love 95s. 95s might be my favorite sneaker ever, but, uh, 97s are right after. Mm -hmm. Air Max over Jordans? Certain Jordans. Of course. Four, five, six. I wanna, Same for you, Get out of here, man. Four, yeah. five, six. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, I would say so. Okay. Yeah. Woo, shit. I, I remember you said, you, you said that you went to your, you got locked up in the Concord 11. You I went did. to your grandpa's I funeral in the, in the black and red 11s. Black, of course. I, I but they don't mean anything a lot to, to your history then, I was wearing a fucking Carl Kanai shirt with the bark with the CB34s on it, like a sixth grade Jamaican dance that I went to. That's a fit. You know what That's I mean? Did you wear sneakers to your prom or no? I didn't go to prom. Same. I dropped Same. out at that time. Walter, you yeah. went to prom? No. Me neither. Mm, I was gambling. None of us went to prom? I went to the after party. I pulled uh, up in the limo after. You worked with like almost every single sneaker brand though except Nike. Why is that? I really, you know, I haven't really worked with every single brand. Adidas, they're fucking shitty people. What? Yeah. What they do? But you got beef with them now? Well, I was supposed to get my friends and family sneakers and they fucked it up. I was the first one to design the ones with the you know, like a real tree, and now those every, are the ultra boosts. Yeah. Now every motherfucking in the past two years, I put a real tree on the shoe. Mm. Before that, I hadn't seen it in, I don't think ever. Ever. So they mm. fucking played games. I went on GQ, fucking previewed them and everything. They asked me to do the collaboration. Was it Wex? It was a combination of a bunch of them. So all I know is that I don't fuck with them. I've always fucked with Nike. I don't care about doing a collaboration at this point. I just want to wear what I like. Hmm. Okay. Unless they want to fucking give me the bread. The bag of bread, bag. You know, like the bag. 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 The bag.
Do you still hate New Balance? I don't hate New Balance. I, I know Did you ever hate New Trump Balance? Thing. Nah, I never hated New Balance. I just stopped fucking with them because it became over, you know, it's too much. It's, it, it, Overdone. I okay. When the, Trump, became, when the Trump thing happened, you know, like when they co-signed it, I thought you got a little mad. You said you wanted to give away all your New Balance shoes and whatnot. No, I just, I don't, f I don't fuck with Trump, but I had 500 pair of New Balances in my studio and I had nowhere to paint, so I had to give them away. You know, when they give you fucking shoes that you're not gonna even wear, I feel bad taking it. How come they never let you design your own shoe at New Balance? People are crazy, man. I thought That's you put all on I them for them the hardest at one point. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of people I put on for the hardest, but I'm not, I'm not over here to fucking. I'm sad now. Now, now I'm tight. Now I'm gonna uh, leave here. I'm gonna make phone calls, screaming at people. <laughs> we gotta make things it's right. It's called Charles Oakley. We can do whatever. You know what I'm saying? Me in the oak. Me <laughs> oh in the oak, God. and it'll run up in fucking somewhere. You gonna throw Jim Davis through the fucking? Oh, who the, the hell guy? is Jim Davis? Is that the guy who made Garfield? The founder of New Balance. That's the guy who made Fuck Garfield. Tell me about your New Balance plug, or just how you feel about New Balances in general. I like MBs. I mean the. 990s, 991s, 992s, like okay. scripted on the bounce. All gray, reflected with the USA on the back, like that's a classic they shoe. I wasn't wearing them when I was wearing them. Nah, <laughs> you put we early. Nah, he no, not him. We were wearing. Oh, them yeah. the we, same. Were, we were doing the same we thing. We do everything yeah. at the okay. same time. Pause. Yeah. Were you guys like going on sneaker missions back in the days together? hundred uh, percent. Where, where were those? Spots? Give me a good one. Give me a good. Oh, give me a good one. A good. Twenty seventh and Sixth Avenue was a little Chinese man that had all the old shit. Mm. You could literally get the original kamikazes. Mm. You could get some weird tonics. You could get the NFL preseason pump with the football pump. Mm -hmm. wow. Those were on Jamaica Avenue though, but yeah. they had, there was just like li unbelievable amounts of things like football Air Maxes that you Shout out Jamaica Avenue. Yeah. Little, yeah. little kid yeah. sizes. All day. I used to wear a size seven to an 11. <laughs> Straight oh. up. He just made it work. Whatever I could get. Yeah. Lights, air raids. Uh, air raids. Yeah. Well, oh, you guys gosh. going out of town on those trips even? Not too much. Just pillaging the city. But, yeah, city pillaging. But anywhere yeah. we went, that was part of it. Like, oh, we're in there Philly. We got a dig. There was another good spot you know? on, uh, on Northern Boulevard in the, in the shopping center. Mm -hmm. You guys boosting shoes too or not? Nah. Yeah. I would definitely run out of sports authority with sneakers. 100%. What was the plan? What was the setup? I was setup? a booster. I fucking walked out. I wasn't like a, a, a blatant <laughs> throw down the leg stealer. I know what he's gonna tell. <laughs> like, I have a lot of, like, we we grew up with a lot of people that throw things down the leg. You open the zipper and you just throw it's DVDs like kids down. like when they throw the 40 down yeah, the leg. Yeah, the 40s down the leg, is that's elementary. I'm talking about walking out with TVs and just fucking in the, wearing, in the leg. <laughs> just wearing suits. I got arrested in, in a it's suit. It's a fact. <laughs> tell me, tell I me. I want to hear the story from Mayhem. Thousands of cans of paint yeah. walking out of Home Depot with these little these saws that cost $80 uh -huh. and you return them. Bro, 32 inch screen TVs, that's when the fucking was big. Uh -huh. It was no flat screen. Yeah, Where you put the TV though? I Yo, walked you would just walk of, out. I walk out of the put on a suit with a cart, just walk out like I paid for it. I have a suit on. Right, what they gonna tell yeah. me? I have a suit on. I officially bought it. There it is. Exactly. That's what yeah. I thought. All right, all right, all right. So boosting is one thing, but when it comes to selling sneakers and the things that you've went through, like when you had your first kid, or whatever, you know, you sold. Right. Wait, wait, before we get into this, I need to ask the question. Oh. I need to ask both of you guys. Have you ever resold <laughs> sneakers? Yes. Yeah, not not as a reseller, but sometime back in the day, you get an issue and you gotta you gotta drop seventy pair of Flight Club. And get that money and fix your life. <laughs> that was early. That was the early on days. You know? I remember selling some some all the Mita shit, like the, mm. the, mm, the, the Mita fucking 9.5s. I just had a crazy collection from all the air shoes, rays. Man. All just craziness. Mm. Where'd you sell it? I sold it to a bunch of the homies in the neighborhood. Yeah? Not not the flight club mission? Nah, I didn't do flight club. I did a couple pairs over there. For, for the most part, I did local, local cash. All right. Talking about guys from the neighborhood, I heard a story from you once. You said you saw somebody, somebody caught a body and they were wearing LA gear sneakers and, and the cops kind of tracked them down because they saw the flashing lights on the <laughs> that was the, That's an old school story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's an old what? school story. Any other, yeah, any other crazy would, stuff oh like that? Did you, you remember somebody? the LA light stories? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You used to fucking, that's how you got caught. Did you guys ever remember any, any other crazy sneaker stories in the neighborhood? You know, you ever see somebody get taken for their sneakers? Yeah, like, that was yeah? just a regular Seen thing. beaten for sneakers. Which sneakers? Jordan. Yeah. Barkley. <laughs> yeah. 
What size are those? You can beat up for the Barclays? Averex jackets. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Polo yeah. hats. Yeah. Come yeah. on, man. Pelle, when you get beat up for a polo hat, that's a bad You guys were involved in that, or you were watching it from across the street? I don't, I don't do things. I'm not a bully. I'm a nice yeah, guy. Yeah, I'm just seeing it go there. Don't bottom forces? You're not going to take it up by polos? Uh, he's uh, taking it. Nah, not me. <laughs> that's why in my car, I keep the club. You remember the club? <laughs> It's, a, it's, it's irrelevant at this point, Whoa. but it's a good basher. Mm-hmm. It's a basher. Speaking of sneakers you wouldn't want to steal, though, in your opinion, with all these rapper sneaker collabs nowadays, like, it feels like every other guy's getting a shoe, and they should probably give both of you shoes. And Definitely. It's kind of crazy, but which rapper, when you saw it, is like, yo, those shits are whack? You... I haven't seen a lot of the collabs yeah. okay. with, with, with rappers, yeah. to tell you the truth. I'm more like, I'm, I, I don't really know, bro. Come on, Give me a name of one. I didn't you? like the Travis Scott one. I like Travis, but the shoe, I just don't like Jordan. If it was a yeah. different shoe, I probably would have liked it because I like Cactus Jack also from ECW. Mm. Right. So there's a lot of correlation yeah. with me. Bang, bang, yeah. Cactus Jack. I like that shit. Asbury Park. What about you, Asbury man? Park is bam, bam. Oh, I was yeah. going to say, once someone handed me a CD and they were wearing Team Jordan, so I broke it in half. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, I, I assume you are well experienced in cleaning sneakers. You know, you're in the kitchen quite a bit. You have any any good tips for us getting food out of our sneakers? Grease, maybe. Grease off the sneakers. Yeah. Any, Seems like it's important. Has that happened to no. you, like yeah. on some joints that you love? Like, did you love the Kennedys? Trips out the bottle. You sold me on the Kennedys. Man, come on. You now. sold me on the fucking Kennedys. Frank I didn't wear these shit. I love those. I was shit. like, yo, these shit so some crazy. Hard. Frank the Butcher joints in the yeah, that's, stash too. That's the home hundred, right? Frank, I got a lot of. I got, okay. a, I got a lot of secrets those in my life. Those Frank the 1600 yeah. Liberties, I got those, ha- I got those original got those ones. But you know what? A good way to get grease stains out, I never did this on sneakers, but like, Joy. let's say you're eating pizza and you spill some Boom. oil on a rugby. Yeah. Just put a little baby powder and let it absorb the oil okay. and flick it off and you're brand new. Oh, wow. I don't know if that'll work on the bottom of the shoe, but I think the bottom of the shoe you need... Just one good lick, Fat Joe style. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, put that tongue back in your mouth. Yeah, don't ever <laughs> show us. Jesus. In public, Come on, man. man. Especially <laughs> through that fucking through that mother. <laughs> through that muff diver right there that you got on your lip. How do you, how how do you feel thing. about the mustache? Is that strong? It's a strong mustache. It's a look. It's respect creepy. the mustache. I, I respect uh, it. Which uh, era was that? When I walked in, I thought you were wearing a toupee. <laughs> no, sir, this is real. Yeah, it's a good look. Thank you. Babe, I got a question for you. Uh, I, I thought I met you at a party years ago with Dallas oh, Penn. Oh, shit. Shout out and to you, you told the story about your ex-girlfriend buying a pair of filas with her dad. Oh, Ooh, yeah. Cool. Let's hear it. He done got back Let's with it. it. Oh, no. This is Trip se- down memory lane. This, this is seventh grade. I got a pair of Grant Hills, the all black ones with the patent leather. Hey. Those were big. And Grant Hill come on the show. Little Grant? did I know, Kimberly, Kim. took, Kimberly took her father's debit card to get me those, and we both got in a lot of trouble. But I didn't know she did that. She just loved that's me big. in such a way that that's how it went down. I didn't tell her to do that. Light flex. What was it like when he showed up and was like, I need those sneakers back? Like, I mean, he didn't get them back. You know, he no. just had to talk with my parents. I kept them. <laughs> nice. You know? That's funny. I forgot about that. Grand Hill was a good shoe. Gentlemen, every week here on the show, we punish someone who said the most egregious thing. Last week, we make them take off their sneakers and replace them with a terrible <coughs> pair of sneakers for the worst take section. It is Trinidad James who skipped last week uh, in, in an episode that uh, many have dubbed a historic failure. Trinidad, where are you? Our, our episode with a slightly comatose Rich the Kid. Shout out to Rich the Kid. Shout out Grams. Um, so Trinidad is going to have to take off his sneakers and replace them with these what sneakers. What are these? A winery had these commissioned. Like, guys, is this I the real got, thing? I haven't got this it's all year. It's, it's a custom. custom. Based on I'm so glad. glad I'm so glad. This look at the jump man. Actually, you deserve this. Jump man on that. You got Jordan. It's a wine you glass. Need to, you need to yeah, make. Yeah, I'm fucking disgusted by Jordan these. Winery. I, so nauseous right now. So, gentlemen, check me out. We also do a segment while I put on the worst Jordans ever. Thank you. You yeah, can pull those abundant. off, though, right? I mean, I could pull off anything, yeah. but I didn't want to take off my shoes or my suit. Yeah, you just couldn't pull off you know fucking making it for the you episode have to just last keep one on. Uh, it's it's tough. Tough. You got the wine tea on the side. Wine, my That's, G. You see that? I saw the wine what? key. What? It's really hard to miss that wine key. <laughs> so, guys, we do a segment also called Drip Flip or Skip. Drip being, it looks good, you know, like you guys' outfits today or whatever. Flip being, you like it, but you wouldn't wear it, so you'll get some money for it. Gotcha. And Skip, we don't fuck with it at all. <coughs> so, ma'am, I'll start with you. We, we got the Reebok Insta Pump Fury OG first. Drip, flip, or skip for you, sir? I'm going to say drip. I like those. And I'm not a big Reebok person, but those are all right. Iverson's, oh, 
Iversons for sure. Of yeah, of course. Questions? Come on. I stole my first pair of Iversons from gym class. <laughs> Incredible. And really? they were the red toe, so they weren't even that flavor at the time. Blue toe was you the get flavor. in trouble for that? Yeah. Miss Guthrie put you in detention? I don't know who that is, but. He's a great educator. Fuck you, one of America's He's finest. Brendan, Jeff Flippers comes This is a drip. This is a classic. Uh, shout out to Stephen Smith. Come yeah. on the show. This is, yeah. Welty, Jeff Flippers comes in. I think it's a drip. Uh, it's it's crazy. I remember Stephen Smith said this shirt was inspired by like a com a, com a communism shirt, right? rock yeah. band T-shirt, which don't fuck with. The uh, <laughs> my brother. That's drippy for sure. Drippy. Yeah. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna give it a drip. It's such. It's an OG shoe. I'm gonna give it a drip. Curry six. Man, I'm gonna start. Actually, I'm gonna go the other way. Ross, I'm gonna start with you. I'm gonna go. Yeah. I'm gonna go your Yo, way. Listen, I know you love this. To be honest with you. <laughs> Steph Curry almost made me buy the Currys. Yeah. He's yeah. so good that he make a motherfucker buy those. I love that. So what? we give us a, a drip or clip. I'm <laughs> dripping. <laughs> <laughs> Steph with the drip. Steph with the drip. All his Under Armour shit is fire. I'm a collector. All right. Which country has the best curry? Depends on what you're looking for. Spicy. London. Mm. 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 I'm with Lahore that. Kebab House. Oh, yeah. uh, rest in peace, Gary Warnett. I think that was oh, a favorite man, of his. Oh, man, that was my guy. That was a favorite of his. Uh, for sure. Yep. That was my guy. He was one of the first people to ever write about me. Oh, that's And respect. he wrote about me in a beautiful way. Shout out, Gary. Yeah, man. Welty? No, nah, fuck this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> You can you suck. Drip oh, lip skip, oh, man. Oh, drip lip skip. No, because you, you can't be like a white right dude and wear Under Armour and like have any like sense of like, yo, I look cool going outside. You got to be able to fucking, it doesn't matter the color you are, you got to be able to pull it off, my bro. So that's you a skip from no, you, right? I think you just made Welty's head explode when you told him it doesn't matter what color you are, bro. Or calling them bro. Well, either one of the two <laughs> blew his fucking top <laughs> off, yo. <laughs> you all right? <laughs> so guys, we, we do outfits too, not just shoes. Mayhem, take me down memory lane. Ooh. I wish I had a spike bat to hit the screen with. You see how baggy those jeans are? Yeah, we used to be in shape, though. All right, where are we? What's That's going on here? Hologram in there? Yo, Anybody yeah, can beat up with them, too. That's a hologram. That is hologram. That is Hugganati. I mean, we were up to no good in the throwback era. I'm going to be honest. Like, Can Incredible. I point out my man is wearing... City freestyle in the basement right here. <laughs> actually got on a pair of five-pocket guest farmer shorts. For sure. Oh, Salute wow. that. What shoe you got on there? That's a Pippin. That's a that's a force. What about when Pippin dunked on uh, Patrick Ewing? I mean, it is what it is. He was old at that juncture. His knee hurt. This is oh, that's drip forever. Brendan, um, this is a skip for me just because I, I, I don't come from this and I don't this you know like I can never you know what I mean. You, you can look at me and you could tell that I couldn't. You come from this. <laughs> That's the skip for me. Well, so you come from this. A drip oh, yeah. or skip? They, they, these are boosting shorts, right? <laughs> nah. <laughs> Those shorts were chilling shorts. Yeah. Those were hanging shorts. How do you boost in the shorts? It's going to go right through, right? Well, I have fucking special underwear underneath. <laughs> that catches everything. Okay. <laughs> well, see, drip or skip? Drip. This is drip. Come on, Tim's with basketball jerseys? Yeah. I'm going to say this is drip. I'm a bias with jerseys. I'm biased. You guys Tim's <laughs> to the beach? Of course. Jeez. Moving yeah, forward, I think we got another show. fit here to check out. Oh, there he is. Damn. I thought you were going to come through in the same outfit. Today. I have that <laughs> shirt in the, in the green room. <laughs> that fuck, that what, Carhartt, going on here? that Carhartt pullover, whatever you want to call that right, right. shit right there, has been in more countries than motherfuckers will ever see in their entire life. Wow, that's the, that's the traveling piece. That's, that's a, your piece. That, that's a traveling piece right yeah. there. Beautiful. There's driving gloves made in Vienna in my pocket. Mm. I'm wearing the rematch uh, Trevor Burbrick versus Tyson hat. There's a pair of Air Max ones. It's a nice royal blue, navy blue, red bubble. Shorts of Harbor Bay. Okay. Does Carhartt give you the bag? <laughs> Do they break you off? Carhartt you know? don't fucking give me shit, man. Why? <laughs> I don't know. They never I just reach out me. to them or nothing? Nah, I'm not a reacher outer. So, so man, I'm drip flipper skip. Nah, that's super drip right there. Brendan? This is a drip. I can respect this one. There you go. Well, too. Yeah, definitely. Oh, I, we already know. Thank you. Drip! Thank you. Drip all across the board. So, guys, I went down to ATL for Honcho Day. Shout out to my boy Quavo. Shout out to the Migos. Shout out to everybody that played. Shout out to Colin Kaepernick. I ain't gonna lie to y'all guys. I walked in the locker room, and Colin Kaepernick was sitting in the back corner glowing mm. in Black Panther <laughs> rays of sun, okay? I was like, oh, this is amazing. And we did it a little different for Drip, Flip, and Skip there, so I'm gonna let you guys see that, all right? Let's take a gander. Yo, what's up, guys? Dad here, Trinidad James, and hey, man, I'm on the north, all right? It's Hancho Day. Happy early birthday to my boy, Quavo. He's doing it big, number love. We about to play some football, but you know me. 
I'm always addicted to the drip, so I gotta go ask some drippy questions, all right? My brother, how you yes, doing sir. today? What's yes, happening? sir. Honcho Day. Yeah, we right here live, Honcho yes, Day sir. on the North. Yes, sir. Right now we is two feet something on the North turf, live at, at your high, high school. school. Yes, sir. Where I went to high school at, and we out here showing love to the kids so on my birthday. Amen, amen. Happy birthday, happy birthday. So first, we got Alvin. Oh, there you know what I'm saying? What's my boy doing there? Is this a drip flipper skill for you? Yeah, it's, it's a drip because of the type of occasion he's going. Look like he's at the ESPYs. Right, award. right. This is an ESPY suit. Yeah, he came through really dripping. I like the way them flavors in them, and, and, and that right. hit and pop. So I like that drip. So it's a drip. I'm, I'm going to give my boy drip. Oh, the ESPY outfit is a drip. My yeah, boy Alvin, sure. get a drip. For sure. Moving forward, we got our brother Two Chains. Yeah, you got the Fendi, the new Fendi. That's that new Fendi or whatever you like. And then the Fendi hat, the off white. It's a drip flipper skill for you. I mean, I'll flip it. Cause he got the Fendi on, he got the off white on, he got a lot of hype, this shit going on. So I, I would most definitely flip that and get That's my That's a big man. flip. That's yes, a sir. big flip. Yes, sir. Moving forward. Little brother Bo. Little brother Bo. He got the Little bait. Little brother Bo dripping, man. He come with a different drip at all costs. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? That's just boat swag, so I can't dread like boat, so I got the, you know it's what I'm saying? I got, I, I, got, I got the drip it and flip it. Drip? Drip and the flip. Yeah, drip and flip. Young Jacquees with the off-whites, a, a Gucci book bag. I think that's a Jordan tracks, I'm not sure. Fit it or whatever. Oh, you got the Jordan track suit. No, you got to skip that. Jacquees, know that wrong. Skip! Skip! Jordan track suit. We don't do that no more. <laughs> 21 Savage, our boy. What do you got I, on? He got on the Versace 2 chains, uh, Alexander Wayne, and the jacket. I don't know what that is. That's like a drip. Drip. Come through dripping all day. I'm going to give my boy a flip. Game. I'm going to give my boy 21 I'm going to give him a flip. The Come boys on, boy. on the bike. The boys on the Rikers, man. Can down Rikers, man. First of all, that's my drip, because them ain't even came out yet. And they, you know what I'm saying, custom made for the boys. And you know we come through dripping all day. No play. All day, no play. Drip. I got, what I got on? What do you have on? Tell me about this album. What, what, what are we at right now? Uh, we had a show, Can Am pulled up on us, and I think shout it's the Gucci out, show. Shout out Can Am. Shout out Can Am. Shout out Can Am. And I think this is a, uh, this a mirror jacket. A mirror jacket. With a Vetmans hoodie. Let's go. So we got, got a Martell hat, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. You okay. You feel what I'm saying? Shout out to Martell. And I think them some Ralph Simmons pants. All right. Off-white. Drip. Yes, you did. <laughs> Take it back now. Ooh. Old school. This, what is 2013 or 2012? Yeah, so this old school drip, man. When we when, when us in Trinidad myself came through dripping down with gold with diamonds, we trendset that so hard. I got to save that. That's an archive. Classic drip. Classic, classic, classic. Last but not least, man. I won't write that day. So, tell, so put it like this. If you think about the drip that you have now and all the knowledge you have now. At this time right here, like what's in your mind? I tell him, take them pants off. <laughs> right. What you doing on Giuseppe's on? <laughs> Just get out of here, Clay. Flip. <laughs> Flip. Skip. 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 That fit one. My nine. brother. Thank you, sir. You yes, already sir. know. Yes, sir. Hunt your day on the north. Yeah. You already know, baby. We just wrapped up Drift Flipper Skip. Quavo. Offset. Takeoff. Come on the show. Dad. That was Trinidad down in ATL for Honcho Day. Uh, gentlemen, gentlemen, we're going to show you a special segment. For the first time here, we are selling shout-outs now on the show. For the low, low price of $100, you can get a mug and me saying your name here on the show. Yes, me, the most important of the co-hosts. Um, so we did sell out very quickly. We have five people here to shout-out. We're going to be selling more of them in the future season, but of course we're going on a quick break for a couple weeks here, so we will announce when you can get more very soon. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to... Would you guys pay $100 for him to say your name out of that, uh... It's cheap for a feature. Yeah, fuck it, why not? Yeah, why not? Why the fuck not? We do have the, uh, full-size run. All right, guys. Um, there it is. Yeah. Uh, uh, megaphone here, so we have, uh, a couple shout-outs to read here. The first one, check, 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 is... That sounds it, like when you hit a home run in Little League Baseball for the <laughs> You really look like a cop, like, like... I look like a cop? In that. No, we're gonna talk about that, man. Miami Vice right here. You know what, you need to put Miami on my Vice glasses. Reboot. You need to put on my glasses Miami and say this. It looks way much better yeah, on you. The color nice, matches. Yeah, the tint. The tint is just so much be more beautiful. Oh, oh yeah, my, my, my God. See, now... Panties are flying. Oh, shit. Now I can respect you a little more. <laughs> Shout out to Kenneth Messer. There he is. Yo, Kenny! Of his hard earned dollars. Sorry. Thank you, Ken. Shout out to Alan Cropper and uh, happy 22nd birthday, Alan, from Becca. Becca! Very special lady in your life, I hope. Shout out. Okay. She uh, better give him some ooh. Becky. <laughs> Tommy Terps. <laughs> <laughs> big, 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 big shout out to Tommy Terps. Tommy Terps! Supporting the show and always believing in Matthew Welty when nobody else did. Wow. Hmm. Hmm. Means a lot. 
Shout out Hari <laughs> Tarla Parley from Pennsylvania. Did they get a refund if you pronounced your name wrong? No, 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 no. no. This, this guy, this guy DM me and he said good luck pronouncing my name, so he he knows that it's not going to go well. But I think Hari, I'm I'm pretty sure on that part. Hari Krishna. Yeah. Um, and then one more shout out Alex Schilland, aka Wealthy's dad. Wealthy, is that really your dad? Oh, your dad? Uh, no. No. Oh. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, gentlemen, before we get out of here, we have one last section to go through, and that is the comment section. We want to see what people have been saying about us around the internet, and I think there are plenty of interesting ones from last week's show, which uh, was, as alluded to before, a bit of a doozy. Uh, first thing here, we have Matthew Cox saying, coming soon to a theater new you, full-size run, the movie starring Aaron Rodgers as Brendan Dunn, oh. Trinidad James as Trinidad James, and... Kevin Spacey as Matt Welty. Do you guys like that guy? Oh, casting? shit! Uh, That's hilarious! I'm not going to jail. Fuck you, man. <laughs> <laughs> Young K-Packs in the flesh. Um, Nick Moss says, Jim Carrey, come on the show. Shout out, Jim Carrey. Rich the Kid's going to set Rich that Kid, up man. for us, uh, for sure. Rich! <laughs> Avon says, wait, I thought that shout out thing was a joke. I was wrong. Uh, you were you were incredibly wrong. People really are paying for that. Uh, at least my back. Ch -ch um, one more over here. We have Tori Stanley saying, "Wealthy 2020, please. The world needs you right now." Wealthy, any any chance on a presidential campaign from you? Possibly. Actually, no. I will. Mm, I don't. I don't know if I'll be old enough. Oh, 2024. How old are you? I don't know. You've been. Someone told me at a bar once that you've been 32 for like five years. So we definitely. Oh that's another thing shit. Oh. Uh, before we get out of here, Bronson, what are people looking for from you right now? The book, right? Stone Beyond Belief. There it is, Stone Beyond Belief. Which version do we do we need to buy yeah. the the well, use the the well, this the version Die right Hard here. version? Game one. This is the Game Die Hard one. version. Yeah, this version right here it takes a lick and it keeps on ticking. That's a PE. It's indestructible. You can never ever break this book. It doesn't die. It just keeps on living forever. All types of recipes, all types of trickery of how to smoke weed without money. Man, what are we looking at for you right now? I got a new project coming out with my man Derringer. Okay. Hey. Sooner than later. Okay. He's in the corner right now. Shout out Derringer. Derringer, come on the show. Absolutely. We get the three of you on the track. Well, not or? right now. Not right now. Later. Another time. <laughs> right now, you stay hidden. On a more serious, serious, serious note, I, I just want to take some time, just a little moment of silence for our brother Nipsey Hussle. Of course. I would ever like. I love Nipsey Hussle. FSR alumni. He, he done FSR, Crip, Drip, Flip, or Skip. You know what I'm saying? That if you know, you know what's up. And I just want to have a little moment of silence for Nipsey, man. We love you, bro. Always. Your family, Lauren London, everybody. California, you know what I'm saying? It's serious, man. Thanks. This was the season finale of Full Size Run. We'll see you next time. Of course, I'm your co-host, Brendan Dunn. I'm Matt Welty. Dad! Look at my suit. And this was? Oh. Your man, Bron Salino, the illustrious Mayhem Lorena Vici. You already know, the natural disasters in the building. <laughs> Awkward silence. She, she, she won every color, that's a full size. Buy a six for my kids, bought a seven for my chick. Yo, better late than never, but it finally came. We got the clack. What's that silver shit? 100K subscribers. That's cute. This is amazing, dude. You're hyped over 100,000 subscribers? What do you mean? That's nothing. It's, it's a big moment for the brand. I could start my own channel and get 100,000 subscribers. You don't want a million? I'm not trying to touch that shit to this all go. Okay, You're, you guys, we need more subscribers. Subscribe now or Joel Puma will never take us sneaker shopping. I'm at a dress like wealthy. Back to being the common folk. Nobody wants that. It's not pretty. I already lost my Gucci sock. They're gonna fire me. We don't get more subscribers.